Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. This is another Mix It Up tutorial. This tutorial will be on how to uh, keep conversation going with questions that run every set amount of time. Right now, just for demonstration purposes, I have it running every one minute, but normally I would have it run every like 15 minutes. Whatever you want to set the interval to is up to you. Um, but yeah, the reason why I'm making this is, uh, let's say you have difficulty keeping conversation going for three hours, you run out of stuff to talk about in your game, then this will give you a, a method to um, just keep conversation going. Maybe a question will come up that chat is interested in, maybe they'll find an answer that you give interesting. So if that's the case, then that'll be a way to just keep conversation going between you and chat. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to make a command because what's happening here is every one minute it is running a command on a timer. So that means you have to make the command first. So let's go to the top left here. Let's go to commands. When I made my command I put it under the conversation group. The name of the command is question. So let's take a look at that. And you can see here that I have conversation. When you make this, you can, whenever you type in a name of a command group, it just if that group doesn't exist, then it makes a new command group. So yeah, mine is under conversation. Name of the command is question. And then to use the command, it's exclamation point question. Although you'll find out later that we, when we use the command action and the timer group, or sorry, in the timer um, like section, um, it's not actually going to show that your command is run in chat. It's only just it's only going to show the result of the command, which is great because that means we are polluting the chat less. So that's awesome. Now we're going to go to this drop down here, the action drop down, and we're going to pull the file read and write action. So hit the plus sign and grab that. And then we're going to select read random line. Sorry, where is it? Read random line from file. And we're going to pull a random line from my text file, which I called Miss Minister Gold Topic Questions. Let's take a look at that really quick, just so you can just see what's going on. So I have a text file here called Minister Gold Topic Questions. And in this file are just a bunch of questions. Every line is a question. And all these questions just came from my search. I went to Google. I looked up a bunch of questions and I threw it into this file. Okay, so I have um, 538 questions. Okay, and so yeah, that's all you have to do to uh, pull a random question. set up the text file and have this action read a random line from it. And then when we read a random line from it, we will be assigning it to a special identifier with a name of our choice. In my case, I called it topic. Okay. Now next what you're going to do is you're going to add a chat message action. And then you're simply going to use the identifier that you made in the file read write action and that's going to output the random question and that's all you have to do to output a random question okay so next we're going to put that on a timer so save that and now let's go to the timer section click on the menu in the top left click on the timer section here and then when we make our new command, and we're not making a new command actually, we're just going to be adding our command to this. Um, you can pick your command group, and mine was conversation. Um, I'm not actually going to make it here. We'll actually just go look at the one I've already made. And I've called it here uh, topics slash questions. And I've grabbed the conversation group. And I've set it to one minute. Now the thing is, if we make another action, and or another command rather, and we put it under the conversation group, whatever interval we give to this group is gonna apply to that command as well. 
So just to give you an example, I have an auto shoutout command that goes off every 55 minutes. So if we put um, topics and questions under the general command category, then that means topics and questions would also run every 55 minutes. And so that's why if you want your commands to run on separate timers, you have to put them in different command categories. Okay, I wish we could make it so that um, commands could be run on their own timers, but that's just not the way it's set up right now. So yeah, I have this every, running every one minute. Um, and here we're going to grab an action. Uh, we're going to grab the command action. And we're going to say run command. And then we're going to run, so for me it's a, a chat command. And we're going to run the question command. And like I said, it's just going to run the command. It's not going to show that you're calling exclamation point command. And then we're just going to save it. And that is it. So that will run that command every one minute. And you can see right here, it's running it every one minute. Um, I know one time here it skipped a minute and ran every it ran two minutes, but otherwise running every one minute. But yeah, I would normally run that every like 15 minutes. Okay, let's do a quick review and just make sure everything's clear. Um, you're gonna go to commands, make your command, give it its own category. Um, I put mine in conversation. And then you're going to add a file read write action. Make sure that you have a, te a text file, a plain text file, where every line is a question. And make sure that um, the file read write action is reading a random line from that file. Give it a special identifier name and then output that special identifier with a dollar sign in front in a chat message action. And so just that command will uh, yield a new question every, well, it'll that'll just yield a new question. It won't yield it every set amount of time. For that, you have to input it into the timer. So then now we'll go to the timer section, new command, choose your uh, command group that your like question command is in and then give it an appropriate name um, set your group interval uh, for the question command to be run so again 15 minutes and then we're going to grab the command action you're gonna run it pick chat pick your question command and that is it okay so I know it's a little complicated, but hopefully it all makes sense. Um, if you do have any questions about that, uh, please leave your questions, your comments in chat. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more mix up tutorials or you have something specific that you want me to do, um, please subscribe. Um, or rather, if you have something specific you want me to do, leave a comment in chat. If you want to see more mix-up tutorials, please subscribe. All right, that's it. Thanks. Bye.